The Caterham SP300R is a result of a project Caterham undertook in conjunction with Lola, a company who have won practically everything there is to win in racing. The idea was to enhance their motorsport offering for owners of their smaller sports car, the Seven. For those unfamiliar with Caterham, their entire ethos has been predominantly concerned with this, the Seven, a car that hasn't evolved a great deal in its 50 odd years of existence. So to call this space age looking mean machine a new direction would be a bit of an understatement. Not road legal, the R is meant as a track day toy, available to just about anyone who can stump up the 80 odd thousand pounds for it. That's a car with a paddle shift gearbox, adjustable rear wing, air jacks and slick tyres that requires no special track day licence. The DNA of Caterham is driver centric. Their main priority is to make the driving experience as straightforward yet exciting as they possibly can. And this is the whole ethos behind the 300R. It may look like it'll bite your hand off, yet the response and feedback it delivers is supposedly not too dissimilar from the 7. I drove at Rockingham, it flattered me, uh, and I drove well within my own very limited capabilities but I was amazed how easy it was to drive and how it was willing to be pushed without providing any surprises. Um, it was fun, it put a huge smile on my face and I didn't really want to get out of it. And it was only because uh, the light was fading that uh, they were forcing me out of the car. We did a few laps in Spain with it and you know, it feels, it's like, a, it feels like, a, like a race car, you know, with suspension and with power, everything, you know, the, the, the feeling with the pedals is it's pretty solid, so pretty good. I was extremely fortunate to be able to try out the Caterham myself and discovered that whilst it is indeed incredibly intimidating to step into something like this, once you get it going it is astounding just how friendly it is. The drive itself was so surreal simply because it looks and feels like I shouldn't be allowed to drive something this geared for racing without years of training. But not only did I feel completely secure, I was eerily calm despite the surging adrenaline. Everything became muffled and silent even with that colossal noise. The experience is unforgettable, and although it is indeed accommodating to drivers of all levels, it unfortunately isn't idiot-proof, as I quickly discovered. It's not its fault, though. The SP300R is just too good for me.